God's word still works wonders today. That is the theme for the month. That means Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18 will be your portion. I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. Every day of this month is wonder that will happen to you. That amen is very low. It is the way you start anything that will determine how you will end it. Many of you have never started any month very well, but this month will be different. And because of the wickedness of the wicked, you need power to make the month go well. Therefore, this week of emphasis, three days prayer and fasting is starting on Wednesday. The reason why you take one leg forward and seven steps backward is because no enough power. So this week of emphasis is starting on Wednesday with prayer and fasting. Even if you cannot fast at six, at least start them now. Kick start it. Try reach three. You will reach three now, you will reach six. But try. Fasting does not kill. God is not punishing you. God is, God is only polishing your destiny. Everybody, they fast too. If you don't fast with sense, you will fast by force when trouble comes. So fast with sense. So they go rush you, go hospital. So the enemy will not overcome you. Fast with sense. There are people that have events and you give them food they can't eat because sorrow is swimming. Lift up your two hands. In your own life, sorrow will be far from you. So, three days. Wednesday. And these three nights are called wonder nights. What did I call it? And I want you to sit down first and get the scripture for these three days fasting. Take, it, take your seat first. Psalm 40, verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto my voice. He brought me out of a miry clay. He brought me out of a horrible pit. A pit... Is a place where people pity you. And he set my feet upon a rock. So the first night is liberation night, which is on Wednesday. Wonder liberation night. Any pit where they put you, you will come out for them. Yeah. It means coming out of the grave, grave of poverty. What is a grave? Anything that bury your visibility is a grave. What is a grave? Anything that bury your visibility. You have the capacity. Every logistic. You have the productivity. But nobody can find you. You are due for marriage. But nobody can see you. Now Pete. That is a grave. But this Wednesday will be your night of liberation. Then after liberation, the second day is elevation or promotion. So Thursday is our, is our wonder promotion night. Anywhere they have kept you on the ground, you will come out of it. Yeah. He brought me out of Mary Clay. Then he did what? He set my feet upon a rock. That means you will never be found on any ground again. As I was praying this morning by 4, 4, 4.30 a.m., the Lord said he's bringing people out of the ghetto to the gate places. Yeah. The Lord said he's going to bring people out of the ghetto into great places. Yeah. Out of the ghetto into great places. Out of the ghetto into great places. Yeah. 
that promotion that has never happened will happen this week. So he brought me out of a Marie Clay. He established my goings. In my own grammatical expression, it is called goings. Career goings, financial goings, marital goings, every goings. God, Sabi grammar. Who tell you say no Sabi grammar? Not one going. Plenty of goings. AKA goings. Let me tell your neighbor plenty of goings. A.K.A. what? Go in CCCs. Your financial career. You, even your local championship. For community. For town. For city. For nation. You will move from local to global. If you miss Thursday. Now this one you don't miss with that. You go miss, huh? Never. Then the third night of our prayer and fasting is the celebration night. Now, after God has brought you out of a miry clay and set you on a, uh, upon a rock and established your goings, then verse 4, look at verse 3 again. And he has put a new song in my mouth. New waiting. New career song, new marital song. Many shall see you this month, and they will say, Haba, God, don't do you well. Even your song will change. They say, What happened? You are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous, you are marvelous. They say, What thing happen? You go top and begin with another song. I didn't know you will answer me this way. I didn't know you will answer me this way. I didn't know. You will answer me this way, Daddy. Answer me this way. They say, What did happen? You go top them again. Papa, you do well. Papa, you do well. Papa, you do well. You do well. Papa, you do well. You do well. Papa, you do well. You do well. They say, What did happen? You go say, I go no regard. Jehovah will not they fail. The sufficient God. I go no re. I go no re. I go no re. Everybody. I go no re. God. Jehovah will not they fail. The sufficient God. I go to Rio. Put your hands together. Abba, 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 Abba. Put your hands together. I go to Rio. I go to Rio. The Lord Sufficient God, I go to the I go to the I go to the God. The Almighty, the All-Sufficient God, I go to the Clap your hands, all oh, ye people. Lift up your voice to heaven and commit yourself and this three days program into God's hand. God, don't let me miss these three days of destiny. Lift your voice and talk to the Lord and begin to destroy every distraction. Whatever will make you miss these three days, begin to destroy it. Every force of darkness, 
that will make me miss these three days of destiny, I destroy it. Lift up your voice and enter these three days manifestation. Oh, Wednesday shall be my day of li supernatural liberation. Wonder liberation. Lift up your voice and thank him for it. Thursday shall be my day of promotion. Friday shall be my enlistment for celebration. The balance of my Turn around, blessing shall be released. In Jesus' precious name. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Lord Jesus, we hand over these three days of prayer and fasting. Lord, there are people that have never fasted in their life. Satan is cheating them every day. Eating away their destiny. Let this three day mark a turning point in their life. Let the balance of our wonder, blessing, and turnaround breakthrough for 2021 be delivered. Yeah. Lord, Wednesday is our wonder liberation night. Let it be an instant deliverance service. Yeah. Thursday is our wonder promotion and elevation night. Enthrone people in their high places. <laughs> Friday is our celebration night. We are going to be dancing and celebrating to you and end receiving the word of celebration. Let the seed of celebration be planted in every life. <laughs> See to it after the celebration night. Let every winner take over Delta State. <laughs> Let them take over from the government. Let them take over in industry. Let them take over in finance. Let them take over in the market. Let them take over in the open market. Let them take over in their trading. Let them take over in transport. Let them take over everywhere. This week, we mark a turning point encounter in our lives. Let the sick be made whole. Let no one in this sanctuary be called sick. This month, wonders will happen. And all the saints, lift up your hand and shout a loud amen. Help me welcome your neighbor to the left, to the right. As you take your seat, welcome to your season of unending wonders. Welcome to 2021. Your year of supernatural turnaround. Then expect turning point to become your new identity from henceforth. And all the saints that everything will work well in their life, can I hear a very loud amen? amen. On the 14th of this month, a Thursday, I'm going to be meeting with all the elders of this church, either ordained or unordained. According to Psalm 90, verse 12. And I read, he said, Psalm 92, verse 12. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Verse 13, everybody. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Verse 14, together, everybody. They shall still bring forth fruit. In old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. So all the elders from the age of 55 and above, you are a.k.a. flourishing. What did I call it? 
Say it again. Say it louder. So wherever you are, you are from the age of 55 and above, please, in one minute stand up, the ushers will give you a form. You will fill it and return it back to the ushers before the end of this service. From there, we'll get back to you. We'll tell you what to do. If you have somebody that is an elder that is not here, please collect the form for the person. You should fill it and return it latest on Monday to the bookshop in Jesus' precious name. Lift up your two hands to heaven. No elder in this church will die before his or her time. Everyone call elder. Every arthritis, every diabetes, every sickness that make you weak as you grow old, I curse it and destroy it. Yeah. After the elders forum on Thursday, the 14th of this month, you will fulfill your days in a grand star. Can I hear you very loud? Amen. Amen. All the youths and singles, don't forget your impartation in the third service for marital career and academic breakthrough in Jesus' precious name. What is the prophetic theme for the month again? Now, I'd like you to add something to that by saying God's word still works wonders today than you add in my life. Are you ready? What is the prophetic theme again? In whose life? In Jesus' precious name. Our teaching today Unveiling the wonders in the word, and I have a privilege to give you part 1A. What is a wonder? Anything that happens that makes people to ponder. What is a wonder? Anything that happens that make people to ponder. What? Show? Haba. How it happened? Somebody in this church... was looking for one million to pay house rent and didn't have any money. He said the Holy Ghost asked him to sow a seed of 5,000. That was what he has. I didn't even know anybody sow a seed of 5,000 in my life. I didn't know. That was three weeks ago. And after three days, he had one million plus that was transferred by someone to his account and cleared his house rent and had excess. So when I came, he saw me. He said, I am the one that transferred money. I said, I don't even know anybody transfer anything. I don't have time to be checking. But one million in three weeks, in, in one week, from nothing. How bad? That's wonder. That he did not know how the money will come, but God spoke to him what to do and everything done. God will shock you this week. Yeah. What is wonder? W. A wow encounter. What is wonder? Wow encounter. Wow. What is wonder? 
a wow encounter. Wow encounter. Wow. Wow. Therefore, this week shall be your week of surprise packages. Yeah. Surprise what? Package. Packages. You will wake up this morning and somebody will give you a car gift. Yeah. And not feel your amen. Yeah. You wake up this morning and somebody will hand over a contract you did not bid for. A wow, W A O W. No, this this is war. <laughs> this is what you wrote now is war encounter. No be war. No be war. War war. Wow. W A O with an exclamation mark. You fit triple and self exclamation one one one. Wow encounter. Lift up your voice to heaven. This week, God will surprise you. Everyone in business, everyone in industry, everyone trading, you will have a Rehobot order of encounter. <laughs> Remember, Peter caught nothing. Peter caught nothing. But when Jesus stepped into his boat, he caught everything. Every fish in the sea answered altar call for him. All the people that have rejected you this week, they will rush to you. That amen requires some level of fire. Yeah. Psalm 119 verse 18. Open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Everything in God's word is full of wonders. Why? The world itself is a wonder product. Out of nothing. God brought out the whole world. God has no problem with your nothing state. He has capacity to do something. God has no challenge with your nothing state. He has capacity to do something. He that created the world out of nothing. He can do all things for you. Ephesians 3.20 God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we Ask or think. If you feel think I'm, God will fix them. If you feel say I'm, God will place them. If you feel think I'm, God will fix them. If you feel say I'm, God will place them. God can do anything. Anything. If you can think it, he will fix it. If you can say it, he will place it. God can do anything. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. God lives in you and God can do anything in you. You just need to steer the word of God in you and miracles will begin to flow. You can put sugar in water if you not steer that water sweet no go come. Many of you are loaded with the word. But you need to steer the wonders out of your body. Lift up your two hands to heaven. This week, the greatest wonders will happen in your life. <laughs> Lift up your voice and shout it loud. Amen. Amen. The word of God is the seed of wonders. Anywhere you plant God's word... Wonders will show up. I give you this example. In Luke chapter 5, verse 5 to 8. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we don't suffer all night. Tall means suffer. You know go suffer. Me and no go so far, and no go beg for bread. Me and no go so far, and no go beg for bread. God of miracles, so are you sure? God of miracles. 
miracles. And I have taken nothing. Nevertheless, if you talk them, I'm not saying you go fix them. So Peter said, we have told all night and I've taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word. Not be the word, the same word, create the whole world. So you go create a miracle for me now. So he spoke to Jesus. At thy word. At thy word. At thy word, I will let down the net. I will do what you want me to do. And Jesus said, cast your net into the deep. And when he has done this, look at verse 4. This was instruction Jesus told them. And now where, where he had left speaking. He said unto Simon, launch out into the deep. Let your nets for a drought. Drought means overwhelming harvest. Listen to me. The kind of harvest you will get this week, it will shock you. It will surprise you. Peter said, I don't feel let down nothing. I don't do this water for how many days I don't catch anything. No market, bad market everywhere. Lift up your two hands to your life. From today, no more bad market in your life. No more bad market in your destiny. Every market now go to go well. Stretch your hands toward this altar. I decree the kind of market you have not been able to get in the last one year. You go get them for the next seven days. In the name of Jesus. And see what happened. After they did according to the word, verse 6, they enclosed great multitude of fishes and their nets break. Verse 7. And they had to beckon unto their partners which were in other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and fill both the ships. Everyone had harvest. Listen to me. After these three days fasting and prayer. Everyone will be so blessed. That you will not stop sharing with people. This is what the word can do. When God speaks. God fixes. After today. You will never be stranded again. Amen. I'd like you to lift up your hand to heaven and say, Father, Father send the word, send the word that, will change that will change my story. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. When people come to share testimony, they said, I had the word. And I caught the word. Lift up your two hands. For the remaining part of this service, the word that will change your story, you will catch it. Yeah. What are the wonders in the word? Number one. Power wonders. Power wonders. God's power is contained in the word. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that can believe either he's a Jew or he's a Greek. When God speaks, 
power flows. As I'm speaking to you now, Ezekiel 2 2, and the Spirit enter into me when He speak unto me. As I'm speaking to you now, God's power is entering you. I want you to believe it. And as before you get home, that power will have transformed your life. Number two. The supernatural, the wonders of supernatural. Power wonders, supernatural wonders. Supernatural wonders. What do I mean by that? Every time God's word goes forth, God confirmed those words, Mark 16, 20, with wonders following. So when God's word goes forth, whatever is going normal now begin to go at the speed of God. They went forth and preached everywhere. And anywhere God sees his word or hears his word, he steps in there and confirms whatever he's saying with wonders. So things begin to work as if God is working it. So when you get to your shop tomorrow, carry minimum three scriptures before you even start sweeping and speak it to the shop. Before you start speaking, sweeping, anything at all, you enter the shop, you speak the word into the shop. Minimum of three scriptures. After three scriptures, the Bible said, a truth is established out of two or three witnesses. Even when Jesus spoke, it is written one, it is written two, it is written the third time, Satan left him alone. Satan left Jesus. Left him for a while. If you want the devil to keep off your business, lay scriptures there. Wake up in the morning and shout, Hallelujah! And speak life into your house. This is the day the Lord has made. This house is full of blessings. This house is full of glory. Psalm 3 verse 3. Thou, O Lord, a shield about me. My glory and litter of my head. Speak God's word. For more than 40 years now, I cannot remember a day the oil has not entered my head with Psalm 3 verse 3. Thou, O Lord, are the shield about me. My glory. So I know if you see shame. The lifter of my head, I know if you dig ground. Every day, and I inculcate all my children, even my grandchildren now, I'm already teaching them how to do it. Don't leave your head careless. Fire your head with scriptures to secure a future. Fire, keep your head with forging ahead with scripture to secure a future. Keep your head forging ahead with scriptures to secure a great future. Keep your head, forging ahead with scriptures to secure a great future. Number three, God's word. Contains deliverance wonders. Psalm 107 verse 20. He sent his word and heal them and deliver them from destructions. Destructions might come, but when it meets the word in your life, it will be shattered without knowledge. Why is it that a lot of people don't benefit from the word of God? Number one, they are not children of God. Differentiate between church goers and covenant children. Attendeeism does not equal to membership. Proximity 
does not equal to connectivity. Your house might be the next house to PHCN or Delta State Power Corporation or Power Holdings Transformer or the one where we shall be Nepa. Now, Nepa will shall be Abi. Now, your house may be very close to Nepa Transformer or Delta Power Holdings Transformer. If you are not connected, you go to darkness. So proximity does not equal connectivity. Help me tap your neighbor. Proximity does not equal connectivity. How do you get connected? Number one. John 1, 12. As many as receive him, he gave power to become sons of God. Only authentic sons of God can do well with the word of God. Not just attend service or church. No. Be connected to God by deliberate salvation via repentance. Sustainable connection through fellowship. Sunday, Sunday Christian no get hope. They no get hope. Sunday, Sunday Christian. You must be an everyday believer. To triumph in life. 2 Corinthians 2.14. Everyday believer. Hebrews 10.25. 2 Corinthians 2.14. Hebrews 10.25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. As manner of some. How do you make the world work wonders in your life? Possess a meek spirit. Psalm 25 verse 9. So when God leads you to a scripture, you don't complain. I know the scripture now. How many of you with God asked to go to Psalm 316 in the morning? You wake up in the morning, you're just worshiping the Lord God. And the Lord said, open to Psalm 316. Many of us will not open it. Psalm 316. I know I'm now. For the day where I born, I know I'm. For God so loved the world, he gave us only because... Amen. Cramming does not equal revelation. No. Many are too proud to be led by God. Sometimes it might be your child that will give you the word. They'll say, shut your mouth. Let me burn you. It has nothing to when you burn them or who burn them. God might have a word through him. Listen to him. Number three, be committed to walking in the light. In other words, obedience. Job 36 verse 11. Those who obey God will always enjoy the wonders of God. If they obey and serve him, they will spend their days, every day prosperity, every year pleasure, every day prosperity, every year pleasure. They will spend their days in prosperity, not one day prosperity, one day poverty, one day, no, no, no. God can sustain your prosperity level. Proverbs 4, 18, the path of the just as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. Lift up your two hands today. From today, nothing will go bad for you again. If truly you walk by the word, miracles will shall it. Miracles will happen. Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven. I'd like you to say, Father, Father I, am I am ready for daily miracles. Lift up your voice and pray. Psalm 68 verse 19. Thou daily loaded us with great benefits, good benefits. Lift up your hand. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits. 
Even the God of our salvation. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. In Jesus' precious name. Do you know God's plan? Do you know God's plan for you? God's plan for you is to wake up with miracles every day and be credited with wonders every moment and end the night with celebration. Every day. Every day must be Christmas for you. Amen. Psalm 68 verse 19. For God daily, daily. Now one, once in a week. Twice in a week. Every day. God can credit your life with miracles. Now I want you to do something for me this week. I want you to buy a 20 naira or 15 naira exercise book. And number each day, one, October 1, October 2, to October 31st. And every day you wake up, expect a miracle. As it's coming, be writing it inside it. Now, if you do it because you are not expecting a miracle every day, God go to credit your life with one every day. God will shock you this month too. How many we open a record of daily miracle credit? Daily miracle. Now, you go label that book waiting. Daily miracle credit. And the first page of that book, we carry what? Psalm 68 verse 19. You now put your name. Mega triumphant Obama for daily miracle credit. You will be shocked the kind of miracles that will happen in your life. Anything where you know expect, no go happen, no. Expect them. Some will wait till next week before they buy the exercise book. Some will buy them today. If not to borrow money, buy the exercise book, buy them today. Because if you don't buy them today, the miracle for today, you go lose them. Say, I forbid. Throw them for back. Make it hit your enemy for back. If you dare back, bend your hair, make it not touch you. It's not good to stay at the back. <laughs> hey! Wait in the name of the, mirror, the, 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 the book. Daily Miracle Credit. Lift up your two hands. And as they come for every service, we go to bring them all. We go to fire that book with miracle. Lift your hands up to heaven. From today, you are credited with Daily Miracle Blessings. And all the saints shout aloud, amen. amen. Miracles are not accidents. They are the confirmation of the word we receive. Any word you receive and believe, God will confirm and deliver. Any prophecy you receive, now, how do you receive prophecy? Number one, receive her and shout a loud amen. Not slow amen. If you do slow amen, your neighbor has taken it. All this slow amen, like man, man, man. You don't lose them. It was the first person that entered the water that got the miracle. When the angels tear the water, now the first way enter them. If all of us jump in at the same time, we'll get a miracle. Some, because of sleeping, everybody would not talk amen before they remember and say, they saw, they saw, amen. Amen. Receive it. <laughs> you, you hear so? Some, some just, they land amen when we don't finish. The amen has to be sharp has to be strong and short. Amen. <laughs> Lift up your two hands, heaven. You are delivered from slow motion. <laughs> no drag arm. No say amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> if you want fire gun shot, na slow motion on a speed. 
And why they say, Amen. 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 Lift your two hands forever. Receive your miracles. If you get pissed the way they slow for your side, just tell us, come up for you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no spoil my market. Where you go, tell her, come up for here. No spoil my market. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Lift your two hands. This week shall be surprise packages. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't catch fire. <laughs> Clap your hands, so ye people. And shout! Miracles are no accident. They are confirmation of the word that we receive and believe. When we receive and believe, God delivers what you believe and receive. John chapter 1, 11 to 12. Number two, these are special notes for miracles. Number two, miracles are no accident. They are God's response to the obedience of his people. John chapter 2 verse 5. Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. Anytime you come to church, take your diary and be writing down the action points. They are the wonder points. Every instruction or action point in service, they are the wonders and miracle points. Our God, number three, specializes to deal with issues of our life with special miracles. Acts 19, 11 to 12. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that handkerchief and apron from his body were brought unto the sick and diseases departed from them and the evil spirit went out of them. Our third services beginning from next Sunday shall be healing services. If you want to clap, clap very well. And after the healings, after the service, designated pastors, including myself, will be assigned to a hall where anyone called sick, apart from the blessing of the church, will physically minister to them one after the other. I want to give you the secret of miracles. A. Locate minimum of a word. If you want to settle the matter, three scriptures for any case you want to handle. If you want to marry, for example, locate three scriptures. One, no one shall like their mate. Two, it's not good for a man to be alone. Three, he that find a wife. Find a good thing and obtain favor from the Lord. These three scriptures alone, if you run with it, we deliver your miracle marriage without spot. Three scriptures. It's a triangle. Like in Bermuda Triangle. 
Anything that enters Bermuda Triangle disappears. Anything that enters the power circle brings miracles. And the apex of it begins with scriptures. Number two, meditate on the scriptures till you get revelation that will lead to instructions. For example, no one shall lack her mate. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, Psalm 30, Isaiah 34, 16. No one of these shall fail, none shall lack her mate. Meditate on that scripture until you get either in worship, until you get a revelation of what to do. Lord, if I will not lack my mate, then what should I do? Then anoint. Then you can have a revelation like this. Anoint yourself for the next 21 days for your mates to locate you. Now, when you find the scriptures and you meditate to the point of revelation and instructions, if you obey that instructions, a miracle will happen. So what is instructions? Anoint yourself every day for 21 days until your mate finds you. So you now tell yourself, beginning from today, for the next 21 days, morning, before I go out, I will anoint my head. I will, instead of using uh, uh, mascaras to finish your eyes, anoint your eyes with oil scaras. Oil scaras. Anoint your eyelashes with oil. Lord, my mate must find me. If you are a man, anoint your, your, your mouth. Luke 21, 15, so that when you see her, you speak to her. She's not going to talk nonsense. Say, I won't go pray. Pray waiting. <laughs> and if you are a man, you, you know, God can reveal. But if you obey that instruction, it is impossible for the devil to stop you. How many are set for a miracle? Rise on your feet. Lift up your voice to heaven and say, Lord, help me. Send me the word of life. Send me the scripture that will change my story. Lift up your voice and talk to the Lord. This week, God must send you the scripture that will change your story. God must send you the scripture that will change your story. Lift up your hands, lift up your voice. God must send you the scriptures that must secure your future. Somebody lift your voice, somebody lift your hands. Let it be above your head. First Timothy 2:8. 1 Timothy 2:8. I will, I will. Everybody read that scripture. Let's go one to go. I will. Therefore, that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. How many have hands? Lift it up to the Lord. Raise it to the Lord. Say, Father, these my hands are the antennas of my destiny. I connect to scriptures to secure my futures. I connect to miracles that will distinguish my destiny. Lift up your voice and pray. Leko talaba shakata. Ebra soble ketelebo shakata. Ebra dalabo yeketelebo shakata. Lift your hands and pray. Speak to me, Lord. Morning by morning, speak to me, Lord. Day by day, speak to me, Lord. Night by night, lift your hands, lift your voice. Ask the Lord to speak to you. Reko talaba shakata. Ebra dalaba yeketelebo shelebo yalaba yeketelebo ro. Lift your voice to heaven in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. If you don't read the books of the month, how do you get the scriptures for the month? Please. Read the books of the month. You have four weeks. 
divide the books. Somebody say, I know Sabi book. It's not a testimony. Everybody Sabi book. Tap your neighbor, say, everybody Sabi book. Okay, ask your neighbor now. You know Sabi book? What's it all? Say Sabi book. Okay, then you must read book then. Look at the books of the month. Satan get lost. You can't read Satan get lost and find Satan around you. You know, go near your business. Turn around power of the world. The force of freedom. Born to win. That demon that as soon as you carry book, you just sleep for and they pour saliva for book. You are delivered from it. But if it's Facebook, FaceTime, Face everything, your eye go open. But if not Bible and a scriptural book, your eye go the dim. I curse that demon spirit. <laughs> Lift up, look, tell your neighbor, say, surprise me. Surprise. Carry one book of the month today. <laughs> surprise me. Surprise. Yeah. What's in the talk? He <laughs> said, go surprise you. Ask him again, wait till you talk. <laughs> Lift up your two hands, seven. The cheapest way to do it, read at least three, three chapters per day. In your business place, read at least two chapters per day. Before you know it, you have finished the book in one week. That's, that's the only way. Don't look for a time you will create time, say, I go read this book, I go finish and I lie. You don't go read anything. <laughs> Use it as your morning devotion. Wake up in the morning, read chapter one. In the night, read chapter two. Before you know it, you have finished one book and you have slapped the devil. There is nothing in it. Lift up your two hands to heaven. You will surprise the enemy today. <laughs> Give Jesus a big hand of praise and take your seat. Somebody is here in this service today. You want a change of story. You want God to decorate your life. You want to be translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of, your, of Jesus. Put your right hand upon your chest. And there are many that gave their life to Christ and when things were difficult, you said to yourself, I never can't kill myself and took your life back away from Jesus. But you will return your life to him this morning. When you return, you are restored. Put your right hand upon your chest and repeat after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Establish me in your sanctuary. Change my story. Change my story. Oh, translate me from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of your dear son. From today, I will never be the same again. All oh, things are passed away. All oh, things have become new. Thank you, my God. In Jesus' precious name. If you pray that prayer, as you leave your seat and walk here now, Everything that has set a trap for you, walk out of it. Take your Bible, take your children, everything you came to church, and come forward. Hallelujah. Make it fast, make it fast. The rest of us, how many want to dance into a wonder? Now, think of a wonder. Is it a wonder car? Is it a wonder job? Before you, because I'm going to ask you to jump up now. But think first, which kind of wonder I want this week? Are you ready? Jump on your feet. Choir sing a heavy song of praise as they come forward. Hey, my God is good, oh. My God is good, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. My God is good, oh. Put your hands together. My God is good, oh. Everything I wonder, wonders you. Everything I wonder, wonder. Have a tea now, mega wonders. Have a tea now, mega wonders. Mega wonders. Mega wonders. Mega wonders.
wonders, mega wonders. Everybody, mega wonders, mega wonders. Hey, we do well, 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 do well. Somebody celebrate! My God is good, oh. I will dance, I will shout to you. You have been my heart forever and ever. Not double, double, brother. Not double, double. Hey, 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 my God is good, oh. Hey, hey, my God is good, oh. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Step in. Step in. Hey, 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 my God is good, oh. Hey, hey, my God is good, oh. My blessings not double, double, oh. My miracles not double double. Oh. My breakthroughs not double double. Oh. Hey. Everything not double double. My blessings not double double. Oh. Yeah 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 Clap your hands, oh yeah, people. Somebody has jumped out of failure. Somebody has jumped out of sickness. Somebody has jumped out of poverty. Make a joyful noise. Christ, who raised Lazarus from the dead after four days, will quicken whatever is dying around your life now. Every appointment of death is cancelled right now. That evil dream that you have dreamt, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. God who gave Sarah her Isaac will turn every woman in this church to a joyful mother of children. Lift up your voice and say, Father, turn Every woman, woman. believing God for children, children. to joyful mother of children. children. Now, lift up your voice and pray. Leko talaba shaka talaba. Rerebo shaka talaba ya. Endelebo shaka talaba ya. Malabo seketelebo seketelebo shaka. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Nothing will be barren in your life again. Every woman believing God for the fruit of the wood, don't forget in the second service, we are anointing those points of contact. Now, hear this. God who turned Peter's frustration around, will turn everyone's frustration into celebration this year. Now, this scripture is going home with you now. Genesis 26 verse 1. The Lord appeared. There was famine in the land. Beside the first famine. That was the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Jerah. He was going the wrong direction. Verse 2, everybody. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I tell thee of. 
And he sojourned in the land that God told him. And in verse 12, see what happened. Bring out your sons, like I said on, Wednesday, on, on Friday. Look at it. Then Isaac sowed in what? And received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. The Lord did what? Verse 13. And the man's wax great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Look at verse 26. Then Abimelech went, verse 22, please. Now look, let's get everybody, 22. All the elders, please, you can sit down. All the young ones, we are very strong, true of us. And he removed from thence and dig another well. For that they strove not. That is, they, they stopped arguing. They stopped contention. They stopped fighting over that land. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now, the Lord had made room for us. We shall be fruitful in the land. The pastors will go around now and anoint those lands. Lift up those oil. I decree those oil, the oil of Rehoboth. Yeah. Every business contact that is anointed this morning turns to miracle. Yeah. Either your business contact or your ATM or your land as they anoint it now. No more contention on that ground. No more contention on that ground. No more contention. A man, three of their, five of their children, no marriage. They have property to be sold, no sales. They went and anointed that. They brought the son, was anointed. They went and poured it back. Within three weeks, suitors came for their daughters. Three of them got married. The land was sold in the same month with plenty of record. You know why? When the Holy Ghost land on that ground, every contention will come to an end. <laughs> lift those point of contact, lift the sand to heaven, lift everything. I speak to those contact that as it's anointed, every cause is turned to blessing. <laughs> Every contention come to an end. Whatever happens in faith tabernacle, I stand in the shoe of my father, Bishop David Odepo. I say, whatever happened in faith tabernacle begin to happen in that ground. Liberation, promotion, celebration. Every cause that had helped people for marriage is destroyed right now. Every child, every woman, every man from that land from that ground, begin to prosper. Those ATM, those property, those things are converted to Rehoboth right now. Now speak to it what you want God to do. Speak to it right now. Speak to it right now. Speak to it right now. Lekota bayakata. Orebo shakatalaba. Alabo sheketelia. Lebo shakatalia. Go ahead, anoint all the grounds. Lekota laba shakatalaba. Rekota lobo sheketelia. Speak to it now. Speak to it right now. In Jesus' precious name. Lift it up to heaven. Within the next seven seconds, seven minutes, let those ground begin to yield harvest. Let those ATM begin to receive jamming alerts. <laughs> Next Sunday, I'm going to be giving everyone in this first service a prophetic seed. 
whatever you find in that seed will happen to you. In Jesus' precious name. Now, Wobi is starting shortly. In, 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 in upper week, Wobi will start. That is two weeks Wobi. But weekend Wobi will start this Friday. Friday, by what time? 4 30 to 6 30. And on Saturday, 8 to 3. You pick your form. The first hundred persons to pick his form is free. The ushers have it. For LCC and LDC, pick it in the bookshop. You are blessed. Those of you in front here, you are blessed. Please follow this man of God. Give Jesus a big hand. Next Sunday, we're going to be taking transport and welfare seed to aid our transport and welfare for the people. So please, don't forget to prepare yourself for that. Lift up your two hands to heaven. You are blessed. Go in peace. Don't forget to pick one minimum of these flyers. In fact, three. You take one, you share two. If you want to enjoy apostolic blessing, you take one, you share 11. That is 12. If you want plenty of grace, you take one, you share four. That is five. You want perfection, you take one, you share six. That is perfection. Whatever you do, there's a reward for you. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Go in peace. Return with testimony. If today's your first Sunday, I have a blessing for you. Bef don't go yet. Today's your first Sunday. Quickly, uh, dance forward here. And as you dance forward here, miracle is entering your life. Quickly, make it fast. Church, I just had something now. Somebody want to dance into a miracle car, miracle house. Miracle money. Quickly, let's go. Two minutes, let's go. Choir. My first Sunday, please come forward quickly. precious name. Please follow this man of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, now listen. All these people that are here for the first time, make sure the adults among them, you give them a copy of the book of the month, Born to Win. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Thank him and thank him. And thank him. And thank you.
and thank him and thank him and thank you and thank you and thank you in Jesus precious name surely Welcome to 2021, your supernatural turnaround. Amen and amen. 